Alright, back at you with the Citadel. We are here at Blade Show West 2019. We're getting ready to go inside, so let's go take a look. So I'm here at Blade Show 2019 with Mike with LT Wright Knives, good hey friend of us. And uh, we're gonna shoot some knives on their table. What do you guys got going on for 2020? Oh, lots of stuff. Um, working on a bunch of projects and special releases coming up. Uh, so a lot of stuff we can't really talk about. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but we got our newest release, The Holy Bushman, is going to be available at the Knife Center any week now. Do you um, have that on the table? It, we do, it's right over here. Alright, let's take a look at that. This guy right here. Okay. Um, so this knife right here is our Holy Bushman. It's an A2 Scanny Ground Fuko style. So I like that. I like that. So does that come with uh, the standard leather sheath? Yep, yeah, everything will come with our standard JRE box sheath. Gotcha, awesome. Then we're gonna shoot some knives on their table and stay tuned for some more. All right, sounds good. Late Show West 2019, I'm here with Harlan from Oak Forge, and we've got some of this fine stuff that I'm shooting on the table, and I just wanted to talk to you, what do you got for 2020 that you're looking forward to? Man? 2020, uh, butterfly knives. Butterfly knives, excellent, that's just what I want to hear. Yeah, so, so we uh, have uh, this guy here. Yeah. Um, and then, um, so, uh, got a good flipper in the house now, and so we've been concentrating on uh, getting these dialed in, and we're pretty happy. We're we're four deep now, and we're finally satisfied with, oh, with wow. these. Oh, Enough that we're, we're, you know, we're going to have them uh, up on the site probably over the next couple months or so. I'm looking forward to handling that. Can I? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Let me, let me hold up. Actually, I just bit them earlier. The 
titanium hardware, and then I did my, my signature uh, slotted titanium. It was there. Yeah. Did that blade is so wicked. Thank you. Love what you do, bro. And I put folders down the inside of the slabs um, just to get the balance right and everything, but still have a, a, a good, you know, chunky feel on the outside. And then the liners are the revered material, so it's uh, a resin resin liner with bronze and copper mesh uh, weaving in there. Like when you hold it up to the light, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, it kind of looks like a kelp forest or something. But yeah. We're all about the details. Knowledge from the he's flipping a, world. Yeah, he's a whole nerd when it comes to Bali. It was. Not anymore. Can I take that one? Do you just sell, sell my, my personal? <laughs> do, 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 do you shoot oh. me like this? All right, we're flipping with Will at Oak Forge. Go right. for it, man. Yeah, baby. I never do those propeller pulls like that. Or the ladders. Look at him go. Oh! Wow. Down she goes. Down she goes. So, Will, you designed this knife, yeah? I did. So, tell That's us a little right. bit about it. What you like about it? Uh, well, as a flipper, I tried to orient it towards flippers. This is the lightest of the three prototypes I've made. Comes in at about 5.4 ounces, which is still a little on the heavier side for ballets, at okay. least for flipping. For flippers, right? For flippers. It's running on bushings, which is a common uh, method of reducing play in ballet songs. Right. So you don't get, you know, your your blade hitting the handles. Gotcha. Um, scuffing it up. Uh, I have, it has a crown spine on it. This is a Weehawk grind popularized by the Benchmade 42. Looks you know. like mine. Yep, yeah. Which was... My Weehawk. Yeah. Yeah, super old classic ballet song design. That looks yep. beautiful. So classic. It is. It's a classic. And you've got a full grind on that one, which is cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and I tried to keep, I used uh, resin spacers, spacers right? yeah, to uh, neutralize the weight since I knew it was going to be on the heavier side. Now, are you going to offer like uh, different colors or like glow in the dark or something? This fancy? is glow in the dark. That's glow and, uh, in the dark? Cool. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever anybody wants. Right. If I can find the material, I can make it into a spacer, you know. Right. Yeah, um, no stop this. This pizza, that's your, that was made your family's business? Uh, my grandfather started Poly Ice pizza uh, over 45 years ago. And he still goes up there and cleans the hoods, cleans the oven, and everything. He's got the dirty kitchen. Explain yeah, explain the, the smaller uh, the smaller So yeah, small slingshot, this is the horny monster, uh, which is a type of pickle fork shooter, meaning that it has very short forks. And the trick to shooting these is that you wanna I shoot to the side like a gangster, um, sight down the bands, like so, and then rotate the pouch and your thumb in uh -huh. towards you. Right, rotate and then, that pouch, show, show yeah. the rotation again. So this is in line like this, you rotate your thumb inside. Gotcha. So you're rotating the pouch, and that creates a ramp off of your thumb for the pouch to sling the ammo out and around the frame. So it'll sling past here. Gotcha. Keeping the ammo away from the frame and your thumb. Gotcha. So you wouldn't want to hold it the way I was holding it then? That kind of a... Uh... You can pinch grip it like this just uh -huh. fine, and then rotate. 
and then if the rotation will still carry it past. Yep, absolutely. Yep. All right, Blade Show West 2019. I'm here with Rob, maker and director of Double Star. So we're shooting some knives. What are you looking forward to in 2020? Is that what you're doing in 2020? Yeah, we've done some redesigns. Uh, some, of, some of our older blades, we've learned a lot from the process and learned a lot from our consumers and the people that buy our stuff. So we're kind of evolving and moving. Gotcha. Kind of like FCS, kind of like martial arts. Awesome. We're, we're evolving and uh, changing and making things better, more applicable, more affordable. That's kind of what's going so on. So what is your target? market are you looking for the martial artist or are you looking yes. for the yes uh edc guy? the martial artist even the hunter in some cases got you know, we got that guy. yeah oh yeah yeah we carry several lines that, that do that and go in that direction as a matter of fact uh, one of our our, our bushcraft guy hakeem eisler okay he's in the fcs family he's also a martial artist but he also loves bushcraft so a lot of crossover then. yeah a lot of awesome yep. so I see a lot of the designs on the table what's one of the favorites that you like what do you got going uh, on? wow one of the favorites they're all kind of my favorite. Right. Uh, we'll, we'll pick a pick a style. Give me something. Give me an idea. Well, we're, we're looking at that. Uh, oh, wow. What's okay. that going on over there? We like Filipino martial well, arts well, this here. This is near and dear to both of our hearts. Right. Uh, this is our this is our fury. Okay. Uh, this is based on Moro design. Okay. Uh, this is actually based on a pin swally. Pin swally. Nice. That thing looks a very tactical look to it, though. Oh my it's God, this thing's a tank, brother. Scott, what kind of finish is that on there? Or coating? Just a Cerakote finish. Right. So do you do any kind of like custom Cerakoting? Like, yes, uh, we do a little bit. So if they want to like a like a, a pattern Cerakote, like a camo pattern or something, yeah. water yeah. dip or yeah, something. Yeah, we do a little bit. Yep. Yep. Awesome. We'll do some of that. that looks sweet. So what kind? Of, what's the sheath solution that comes with that? So what kind of mounting options does that have? Is that uh, more of traditionally a... off the hip, and then also with the island locations, you can also do something with some 550 cord on your pack. We like to make it so that it's pretty open to whatever. Gotcha. Your You've got a, an open clamshell top yeah, here, open so it's a shell. quick draw. Yeah, kind of absolutely. Your colleague guy, you know all about that. Awesome. Oh yeah, quick to get to, quick to, quick to use, and this thing is absolutely tank. It'll take a beating. Cool. Thanks for talking with us. This is Rob with Double Star, and we'll talk to you soon. See you guys out there. Thanks, Rob. So we're talking a little bit about uh, knife deployment and the importance of knife deployment with uh, Rob here from Dino Double Star. And uh, tell, tell us a little bit about your philosophy and what you were thinking about. Well, brother, you and I are just sitting here conversing. And what it's what I've been doing over the past couple of months is I've gotten with a couple of older judo guys. Um, and what we're doing is, as I call it, we're, we're working the span. So in other words, we have a tendency of, well, okay, I'm in a best case scenario, I've gotten to my plane. Well, I've gotten around these other guys and they're saying, okay, let me put you in this position where they have control. Yeah, they've got nice control. And let me tell you, that's been a real item. And then you have to deploy from that position. You got to try to get there. Right. Now, you try to get when there. you EDC, do you generally carry a fixed blade or do you generally carry I'm a fixed blade. I'm a fixed blade guy. I'm a obviously. fixed blade guy. I don't yeah. want to have to operate something or once I get it out, I want it to be out and ready to go. Yeah. Not a flit, not. I mean, I carry a butter supply knife EDC every yeah. once in a while as a traditionalist and a cultural kind yeah, of yeah, for yeah. FMA Absolutely. and how we carry ourselves. Absolutely. But, you know, for EDC, for defensive purposes, I want a fixed blade on me. Yeah. You feel very much the same. Yeah, way. I'm an in the waistband guy or I'm a pocket carry either way. Right. I'm either pocket or in, in, in the waistband. That's, that's for me. A fixed blade, uh, I'm either carrying. So, what, what, is this, what is this particular design that you've got going on here? What is this called? That is, that's, that's called a Dracon. That is meant to consume flesh. That's okay. what it does. We've got a video on uh, YouTube with us uh, uh, cut testing it, and it is an absolute monster. I mean, it is, talk about inflicting a lot of damage on impact, it is absolutely an animal. Right, it's got a really thick spine. It's a pretty heavy stuff piece of stock. It doesn't stock. print, it's nice and thin, it's really easy to handle. Your retention's phenomenal once you put it in your hand. Right. It's great. And then, and then, you know, for you, who knows a lot about Are picking off the whip. Are we worried about this kind of a no, finger break? No, I've actually, I've actually pressure tested that because A, there's no, like, there's no leverage. There's nothing got there. Because no like, you know all the picks, right? right? And not only that is, is when this is on here, so think of this one. Right. This here, one let's, here. Uh, all you do is close your hand. Around so that they can see. Yep. So like this lever, close uh, up. And then the moment I start to press, lever it like you're turning in. And I know, but this has an edge. Yes. You just turn it right, right. in. Right. Just rock it. Because, that, because this gives you so much control like the rudder on a boat. 
Right. And, and you've left no leverage and here. And you can't use that in the web. You can't right. web out on that. Because we know that... Um, we know that from, like, you no know, bikini or anything like that, when we leave this yeah, you, cuneo here, you, that gives yeah, somebody yeah, leverage yeah, for that the other window. and stuff like yep. that. Right. So, the, in relation to that, for this particular defensive knife, you've left out any kind of, yeah, it's, it really uh, it enables you to get a good seat in, in the palm swell there, in the hand, yep. for a nice strong grip. Yep. So even if you white knuckle it, there's right. not a lot there. And no it feels grip. pretty good in a saber grip, not a hammer grip. I don't see this in a hammer but grip But even then, I much. don't really have, there's not much there right. to get onto. Right, whereas in a saber grip, oh, there's, God, there's nothing literally there. nothing yeah. there. And that that's really what I see a lot of, yeah. a lot of people that are employing saber grip. And you got all those scallops. Yeah. Nice stuff. Well, thanks, Rob, for talking with us. Yeah, bro. Cross strength, cross strength, cross strength. Salamat. Salamat. Two thousand nineteen Blade Show West. I'm here with Lucas and Ty, Squid Industries. How you guys doing? doing great. So, two thousand twenty. What do you guys got new for us? We got a lot. Of yeah. yeah. Show us. Well, this year we debuted the uh, Kraken here, Craig Kraken. Our first right. live blade right there. Nice. Look, I've been expecting this. Yeah. So this uh, runs on bushings and it has a seventy seventy five handles. We're using an AEBL stainless blade. Nice. I like it, brother. And what all, you got all this different anodizing going on? Yeah, we've got all sorts of colors here. Right? Yeah. I'll shoot the table here in a second. Yeah, and show so me the stuff that you like. Ooh. So we're also launching the, uh, this, this new uh, ink series here. This is the DLC coated blade. So that is the hotness right there. Look yeah. at that, guys. Take a look at that. Oh, Lucas, you guys do amazing stuff. You know I'm so fucking proud you. of Squid Industries. I love your guys' work. You guys got this place flipping. Look at all the flippers that yeah, are just surrounding your crazy. So what time is your, uh, you, got, you, got, you got a competition starting yeah, today, Yeah, so the right? championship starts at 4.30. Okay, cool, and then you've yeah. already got it sold out and filled up, right? Yep, all 32 competitors. Awesome, out. so I know the guy over at Oaks, Oaks Forge, Will, didn't get a chance to sign in. You guys gonna let him in, or is he a ringer or something? Uh, is he not signed up yet? Or? I don't think he did. I think, he, I, I think we're all out of spots. All out of spots, yeah, oh man. Oh well, hard. sorry Will. Sorry. Anyway, so I'm glad that you guys got the stuff out, especially the, the K Racken we're calling it. The Craig Racken. Craig Racken. Yeah. Gosh, I want to kick someone in the nuts over that. Can't wait yeah. to find out who it is. So uh, we'll keep you in touch with more stuff from Squid Industries. So this is the two tone with the standard finish. Yeah. This is the inked single tone. Some of your price points. We got the Nautilus over here. You guys have been keeping track on the uh, 
Uh, Squid Inn Street newsletter. They drop every Sunday. Is that Monday? Yeah. Now we're doing Monday. Yep, we just switched to this. So I've missed a couple of days. Uh, well, I haven't missed them. Like, I haven't been, I've just been drooling over people's reading, uh, yeah. apparently. Uh, Let's see. Uh, I saw these came out with some new swag and stuff, too. Like, uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff right over there in the clothing rack there. Gotcha. I'm stealing one of the uh, Squid Inn Street. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Blade Show West 2019, and I'm with Princeton with Princeton Customs, and he's getting into the Valley Song market, and I'm super excited. I came and saw his booth last year, and he's got some new additions. So tell us, what do you got for 2020? Well, just started making these thin Bali songs here. Start off with a traditional style with the ball opener. Have a cam in the latch so it doesn't swing around too far okay. when you're using it. Good. And just for this show, came out with these latchless guys. Now there's some really nice materials here. Yeah, to this, get guy, this has damage steel in it. Nice. Also had fun with the true glow. Oh, See nice there. inlay there. Yes. Yeah, for the bite handle indicator. Bite handle indicators. Guys got a shit together getting right off the jump. And also brand new is these uh, Bowie blades here. Nice, that's a nice, that's yeah. a nice profile. Now are these are these are bearing driven, right? They are. Yeah. Good, good, good. On good. ceramic bearings with a thrust washer. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, what's the price point on some of these? So the price point, the ones with the CTS 204P blades as standard, they start at 600. Okay. Yep. And something like a damn steel blade that goes up to 900. Right. We're talking about additional materials here. And really fancy like handles. We're talking about 1400 Gotcha. The material price is great. Right. Nice. And I well. do all the packaging myself. So. Okay. Yep. Tea treatings in house. One man show. It's so. a so one man show here at Princeton <laughs> Customs. Oh. I'm very proud of my husband. There you go. <laughs> my wife. Wife approved. <laughs> you know you got a good business when your wife is in it with you, right? Right. Hey, thanks a lot for talking with us. Yeah, thanks for coming.